Welcome to the very first podcast by the Way of the Leaf, a reread discussion podcast based on the epic fantasy series The Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan. My name is Ryan, and I am currently knuckling my lower back. And my name is Daniel. I am the drunken peddler, also known as Brother Dan, because we are indeed actual brothers. And we, we are. We are. <laughs> the Way of the Leaf. Yay, and this is the Leaf Cast. This is our inaugural run. First and foremost, we are doing a reread. All right, so we have each read this series only once, and this will be our second go round. We will go chapter by chapter till the very, very end. And if one or both of us somehow gets diagnosed with a rare blood condition, a la Robert Jordan, we have already sent all of our notes, copious, copious notes to Brandon Sanderson, who has agreed to and carry he looks on the over and. His dad's just using his spear as a walking stick, looking all just badass. The wind's blown around him, but he doesn't care. He just he and he looks good, you know. He's he's got you know, I assume a pretty thick head of hair, it kind of like. <laughs> so I mean, so let's kind of picture maybe like a Mel, a Mel Gibson in, in like Braveheart type. Oh, maybe yeah, yeah but, maybe um, a little older though, and less racist. Yeah, a lot less racist, I would say. Our lips are loose. <laughs> and and our, we have loose Theron lips. <laughs> All right, so speaking of loose Theron. All right. We are here to talk about the prologue to Robert Jordan's The Eye of the World. So someone's walking around a palace that is completely tore up. There's scorch marks on the ceiling and on the walls. There's tapestries that are burned and ripped. The walls of the castle are cracked and have light streaming through them. And a man is walking through as the ground is still very occasionally shaking from after uh, rumbles from a big earthquake or some sort of... And then... The air behind him shimmers and coalesces and out steps a man who is, he's wearing all black except for the white fine lace around his throat. Of course. He has a nice pointed beard. He has thigh high boots that are of tucked course. down to his knee. Yeah, no, everything of about course. him yeah, just going. screams fashion. He's his long overcoat. He has his boots tucked down. He has silver trim on, on his boots. He's walking fastidiously around the dead bodies, moving his cloak as not mm -hmm. to get any blood. I think he opened up for Nine Inch Nails as a solo act. I thought, you know, what? I kind of pictured him more as um, a late 2000s uh, Vegas magician. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Argument here, no argument. Although can it, although Tavern Talk will be rife with argument, anyone no who has argument a disagreement, here. by all means, go ahead and send that to at Ryan at uh, Way of the Leaf or at Ryan at uh, the Way of the Leaf. <laughs> I don't. What's your, what's Do you your think Jackie trying? Chan? What's what's our no? We are at Ryan. We don't. Know, we don't. <laughs> I was too busy. I was too busy thinking of my next joke to really follow that. So yeah, are we inventing an email address right we'll now? We'll get better. Yes. We'll get better, guys. Um, but at Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag Ryan. Anyway. Just hashtag Ryan the internet. I'll find it. Tavern talk. Imagine the destruction that was going on at this time. Dragon Mount was created by one man. Now times that by a thousand. All insane. All being able to wield this power. 
Entire landscapes had to completely change. Oceans moved. Continents warped, stretched, shrunk, and then changed. Entire mountain ranges formed overnight. While Tam and Rand's uh, Althor's farm, it was right in the foothills of the Sandhills, which were, we're told, once the shore of a great ocean. Now, when we search for any first-person accounts, the wheel of time turns and ages come and pass, leaving memories that become legend. Legend fades to myth, and even myth is long forgotten when the age that gave it birth comes again. In one age, called the Third Age by some, an age yet to come, an age long past, a wind rose in the mountains of mist. The wind was not the beginning. There are neither beginnings nor endings to the turning of the Wheel of Time. But it was a beginning.